Newton Thomas Siegel here on Cook Optics TV. Happy to answer your questions. Oh, it's massive. It's massive. When I began, I felt for me to really be the creative author of the film, I, I felt like I needed to know and decide and tell them every single thing we're gonna do. Like it's a 200 watt inky right there, you know, panned right, spotted in with a half script. As I've gotten more confident and more experienced, I've learned that rather than be so prescriptive and such a control freak, if you hire really, you know, tremendous creative people, you can milk them for all their worth and actually exploit their creativity as much as exercise your own. Films can be torturous or they can be fun. I kind of enjoy it more when they're fun to make. And part of that being fun to make is having a friendly family type relationship with your crew. You still need to have leadership and you need to be decisive and make sure that everybody's moving the same direction efficiently, quickly, all that kind of stuff. You can also make it an enjoyable experience. I wouldn't know where to begin to think they're all hard. Um, but you know, there are certain there are certain situations that are harder than others and those are the ones that really vex the cinematographer an example of a you know the film i'm prepping now i have a scene where a guy is driving out in the desert at night and uh, there's a rainstorm there's no light in the desert other than moonlight so how do you make the moonlight you know look real and effective um and not just light your foreground and not light your background and you have to see the rain so how do you light the rain without it looking lit so there are certain scenes, you know, snow at night, a boat out on the water, those type of things where you don't have an excuse for either artificial light or natural light that I think are the hardest to light and take the most ingenuity and creativity to, to think about. But by and large, unless I'm doing a truly fantastical film, I tend to think very organically in terms of any given location, like where is the light in this location? Like where is it coming from? Where, where is it motivated by? And then I use that as a starting point and I think now how do we shape it? And I try to shape it for whatever it is a scene is trying to convey. Uh, I get nervous every single movie. I've done over 50 movies and, you know, the night before the first day of shooting, I'm completely terrified. On the one hand, the more you do, uh, the more confident you get um, and the more you can draw on your previous experience. But I think if you want to grow as a cinematographer, you also challenge yourself in the sense that when I go on a location and, you know, I walk in and immediately I've lit it in my head, that's because I, shot a location like that before and that's how i did it before so then i try to challenge myself and i say okay well that's obvious you know that's the way you did it on such and such a movie but this movie is different so how could we do it different so i think to keep things fresh you're always challenging yourself and if you're challenging yourself you're going to be nervous and if you're nervous that's good It's a massive range in answering that question. I have worked with, uh, I worked with one director who I, I was quite amazed by, literally from the first moment on the first day on the set, walked on the set and basically asked me what the shot was, where the camera was gonna go. And for the entire movie, um, gave me absolutely no input about what the camera should do, which uh, I wouldn't, by any stretch of the imagination saying it was ideal, but you know, he was talking to the actors and that was what he cared about. And, you know, he, he thought my job was to design the shots and, and you know, tell them how the camera was gonna tell the story. 
Uh, the other end of the spectrum are the directors like a Sidney Lumet, who on the scout would go and say, okay, it's gonna be a 35 millimeter right here, you know, three feet off the ground. And when they came back to shoot, it would be a 35 millimeter right there that off the ground. And that's, and everybody knew it ahead of time. And, and that's what you did. So you have those two extremes. But I think the more typical thing is the film that I'm doing now, that I'm prepping now, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna sit with the directors and uh, it's co-directors. And we're gonna go through, you know, the script and we're gonna talk about scenes. We know the locations. We're gonna say, you know, what do we wanna do here? Okay, um, what if we, you know, start like this? Maybe it's a crane shot and we come down and goes into a close up and, you know, the director might say, well, no, you know, I always saw this scene as more uh, just being told through a close up and you only hear what's going on in the background. So then you go, okay. So there's a lot of give and take. I just finished a film for the Russo brothers uh, called Cherry. And um, that was a lot of both. It was really interesting. You know, there was some crazy ideas I would come up with and I'd pitch and I'd say, you know, what if we, you know, start uh, on them on the bed and then the camera just goes up and up and it's this like impossibly large set. And they went, yeah, great, let's do it. Uh, and then there was other things where out of nowhere they would say to me, you know, let's have everybody just, you know, frozen and the camera dollars through and you go like, oh yeah, that's great. It was a wonderful sort of give and take kind of relationship. It really varies from director to director and, and your job as a cinematographer, I think is to assess from the director how much they need from you in terms of shot design and to give them that. Um, and if you're going into a project, you also have to decide for yourself uh, how much you are uh, comfortable with letting the director guide what the camera does and how much you feel you need to be the author of what the camera does. And, you know, if you think you need to design all the shots, then you better not take a job with a strong visual director.